Boys cross country is a sport that is unrelenting and unequal. Unfortunately, most people do not know about their success. The athletes put in maximum effort and a lot of summer conditioning. However, the athletes are rarely recognized. At Orange, there are multiple individual state contenders and the team is trying to make a state championship. This is their story. So, I got into cross country by uh, eighth grade year. It was like fall. I didn't have any other sports to do. So I just picked cross country up and I got kind of good at it. So I just stuck with it. Um, I got into cross country, uh, I guess technically in like fourth grade because I went to a small private school and my mom was actually the coach of the cross country team and so I kind of helped out in fourth grade and just kind of did it from there because I wasn't very good at any other sport. So. Well I stuck with it because not only am I good at it but it's also a fun sport and it's a good way to get healthy and it's good competition. The right, reason I stuck with it is because I figured out kind of how good I could really be when I trained really hard and or I, you know, I really prepared myself for the season. I really liked that, so I kind of always wanted to get better and better. So, personally, there I don't enjoy running at all. <laughs> uh, the enjoyment of running for me comes from crossing the finish line, or uh, when you're done with the workout and you can look back and see what you've achieved. But uh, as far as actually running, I don't. It's really just seeing how much pain you can handle. So I don't think there's really anything enjoyable about the running itself. What I find enjoyable about running is that. Because you know every time you run you get better and stronger and faster. It's just fun to improve on running. Um, I have, as a captain, tried to be a positive influence on the unity of the team and the uh, kind of just the way um, people interact with each other and get involved. Um, I host parties every Saturday after meets at my house. Um, and I also host a Bible study for the team every Thursday and um, I'm usually the one to pray before every race for the team. Um, so I try to bring my faith into it and be as big an influence on the team as I can and on my, especially on like the freshmen so that it's uh, very together and not um, anyone feeling like they're out, left out of the team or if they're not that good that they're not part of that dynamic. Next, race strategy tomorrow. Okay, the teams that will be there. Lancaster, New Albany, um, Westville North, and then there's this team from West Virginia, Cable Midland. So those are the top four teams. Look, we are working on pack running. For the first mile, and my hope is if you're together with someone at the mile, you'll work together the rest of the race. So varsity guys, Kyle will lead you through between 520 and 525. You are not Morrow, Lane, and Moore. You are not allowed to pass Kyle till the mile. Under shins. Guys, with any sort of injury right now, you need to go get an ice bath. If your shins are hurting, walk backwards and jog backwards after practice every day. The guys who have been doing it are getting better, okay? The guys who aren't, I don't want to keep giving you ice every day, so it's on you to make yourself better. If you're not doing everything, then I don't know what you want me to do, okay? You gotta help yourself, all right? So if you're hurt, start doing the backwards walking, backwards jogging, it seems to be helping a lot, okay? Bus? Bus leaves at noon tomorrow. What time are we going to be here? 12.05. 11.45. All right, bring it in. Real quick. Hey, listen. We still got a lot of work to do. OCC's is four weeks away. Regionals is six. Okay? Tomorrow we have stuff that we're working on. Okay, let's get it done. Let's compete hard. After that first mile, it's time to pass people and beat them, all right? So we're going to show up and we're going to do what we do. All right? Team on three. One, two, three, three. Um, in general, cross country is viewed as not as much of a sport because you're not, it's not as skill based as it is just pure how much pain you can take. Um, so the culture of the team is often very laid back and very, um, no one really cares. But uh, since Coach Walters has come, uh, we've gotten very competitive and we've gotten to be very good. Um, we have a solid chance of states this year, which is uh, really hard to do, especially in cross country, and we beat Liberty for the first time uh, just last week. So uh, we're definitely getting a little bit more competitive, a little work starting to kill a little bit more, and the team's growing really big. Um, but on top of that, I think something that's really cool about cross country is, or at least our team, is that we can have um, 
we're kind of like a big family um, because, like I said, I try to go to his parties and have these battle studies and we're constantly together and so it makes for some really good friendships. Outside of practice, to help myself perform well, I bike for 16 miles, usually on Sundays, swim laps, do core, and I lift. Um, I do a lot of like, I ride, I ride my bike a lot to help with some more like, you know, just loosen up my muscles and you know, it's, it's helpful with uh, training because it's cardio and I also do a lot of swimming and a lot of like push-ups and core on the side, you know, when I have a chance to. I do a lot of that during the summer, so. Alright, hey, today we're at the Lancaster Invitational and uh, we're about four weeks out from conference and then districts, regionals, and state, so uh, there's a lot of wisdom and not going all out and we want to work on work running together, so today the guys have to run with someone else on the team for the first mile and then they can start to race a little bit better, but we really want to work on pack running because that's what's going to help us at the end of the year. And so, good competition, good weather as long as the sun doesn't come out and it uh, should be a fun day. Um, to give you some perspective, I am the seventh best runner in Orange history, but I'm fourth on this team. So there are three insane runners in front of me, and um, I'm not even that good or anything. But the point is, it's a very, we have a lot of talent, and we have a lot of talent upcoming. Um, I know Andrew Schroff is an eighth grader who will be coming to the cross country team next year, and he, he like wins his races, he's really good. But um, I'm really interested to see um, where it goes, because I don't, I think we're losing that much from my class for next year, but um, yeah, I think mostly between Coach Walters really caring about the team and caring about where it goes and all the talent, it's definitely going in the right direction. All right, look, listen, hey, okay, we're doing something very specific for the first mile today. It's going to help you all because if you feel good at the mile, some of these guys are going to go out too hard, hit the hills in the sun, and they're going to die, and you're just going to reel them in. The goal, to, look, no one cares at the end of the season about your time. All they ask is, what place did you get at OCC's districts, regional, state? They always ask place, not time. So I don't care about time as much today as I do place and your ability at the end to beat people. So always think, you're always eyes ahead, you get the person in front of you, then you see the next guy, get them. We want to keep passing throughout the race. And look, you got a great finish, all right? You come off the silver bridge, 400 meters to go, then you have 100 meters till the finish, like you'll see it. And so. When you come off that silver bridge, it's kick time, all right? Last hundred, don't leave anything out there, all right? Coach, we're we're going to run well today. Yeah. I think it's more like 300 meters. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. it's less than 400, even better. All right, so start a little before the bridge, okay? Everyone ready to roll? That's going to be a good day. Good day, good day. All right, so uh, let's see, Kyle, bring it in. Oh, did you? Kyle, I want to thank you uh, for the opportunity we have to run this meet. I know it's not everyone's favorite meet, but uh, we're going to do great anyways. I ask that you'll help us to mentally stay strong and that we got to beat people, that we'll work as a team, and that we'll work together to win this thing. Uh, and that we'll remember to give you the glory when it's all finished. Please stand up, right? Amen. Amen. All right, have fun, guys. Let's go, Hunter! Let's go, Hunter! kind of team environment you would want for anything, that we're brothers and that we look out for each other and everything, that we represent ourselves well, that we're not getting into drugs or drinking, um, we're willing to stand out for what we believe in and be examples to the rest of the school. Um, the second thing is obviously that the school would view us as a uh, competent sport, that it is hard, that it's not something that you can just walk on and do well in and that we have a lot of hardworking guys and a lot of talent and that we could very well be successful.